Well, maybe your New Year's resolution was to be more supportive of your hard-working children this morning. I know while a lot of, um, I think families will be celebrating kids going to school, a lot of learners, um, ex-matriculants will be celebrating those results, those successes, but there will, of course, be a number of young people out there that are devastated, that are already struggling with results that they didn't expect or maybe they did expect that have been looming and they've now got to absorb that and what it means for their future. Anel Anandel is here um, having a good chuckle at some of the, the New Year's <laughs> resolutions. Have you stuck to your, your resolution? I know it's really... I haven't even made this well year. Done. It that's, just doesn't work. That's why we pay you the big bucks. Um, and I'll, um, all the best. Compliments of the season to you. you. Um, we're going to savour the, the good vibes as much as we can at the beginning of the year because there is a lot of motivation and inspiration. But then, wham, bam, come your matric results. Um, I, I'm going to be straight up with you and say, how did you do in matric compared to what you expected to do, just to get inside the head of what a matriculant is going through at this time. What, what did you go through when you were expecting your results? I think a lot of stress. I think yeah. that's the first thing. And you know what you're going to get, and then your results are totally different. So that, yeah, it's always better, better a surprise. Or worse? Some better and some worse. It was, it was a bit of a lucky packet. <laughs> How do you prepare for something like this? Because you've had it drummed into you now that the entire rest of your life is going to re rest on the results because you need that pressure going into the, the finals because it is important. But the bottom line is it doesn't necessarily define you. It, it is very important. But how do you go into this very important phase? How do you wrap your head around it as a matriculant? I think the most realistic attitude to have is one of whatever's done is done. Yeah. You can't change it now. If you got great results, congratulations. If you didn't, the most important part now is moving forward. And for that, you need to be as calm and as positive as you can so that you can clearly think about all your options. Uh, in that, you might be learning one of life's greatest lessons, and, yes. and, and that is picking yourself up, because you're going to get knocked down repeatedly. That's what um, adulting is all about, <laughs> really. Um, I think it's very difficult, though, when, when you're being kept in that, that maelstrom of emotion by parents that are as disappointed, maybe even more so, uh, because they've invested a huge amount in you and in that process, and they love you and they want the best for you. So how, as parents, do we approach this and, and be supportive? Because that's what, what needs to happen, really. It's absolutely vital, that parental support. Remember that these next few days and couple of months are going to be the most important in one of in a young person's board. life. Yeah. It absolutely is. So, but I would say more than just parental support, we need community support. Aunties, uncles, neighbours, be there for them, rally around them. Celebrate if it's good and give them a shoulder to cry on if it's bad. Um, uh, easier said than done, I think. You know, I keep thinking to my poor mom and what I put her through um, with, with my final year because there is so much pressure and, and you want the best for your, your child, but you can't help but transfer a little bit of yourself into that. How do you deal with that disappointment? What do you say to yourself so that you can control your emotions in that space? The hardest part for parents, I think, at this stage is making sure that your expectations are in line with your child's. Because keep in mind that they are now entering adulthood, like we've said. And it's not always so much about what you want, but what they want. How do we support them best in their goals? And how are we there for them? Did you see me raise my eyebrows? <laughs> I was talking to you. I was talking to you at home. No, we, we certainly can empathize um, that it is a very difficult time. Um, if you've got any kind of suggestions from your side, maybe you've gone through something, a, a major success or a massive disappointment, Hit us up on our social media platforms. Let us know how you are dealing with that situation. We're going to continue this discussion in just a moment. Dealing with the pressure, yes, but also the disappointment of those matric results if it hasn't gone your way. It's my feel good worth show. Welcome back. You are live with Expresso as we kickstart a brand new year and a brand new stanza in your life. Certainly if you're a matriculant, regardless of the results, who is now moving into this next phase of life, We've got to put all of that behind us, as Anel has said in our first segment, and we've got to now open those doors to a bright, brand new future. Learning to cope with disappointment is a massive part of life. Every job that you have will possibly come to an end. Um, every stage of your life is going to morph into another stage. You've got to learn how to adapt, and you've got to now start being an adult. That's a big part of it. So let's shift gears. We, we've now kind of taken on board that we maybe have failed in certain areas of our matric kind of expectation. Um, we, we're dealing with, with the, the support of our family. We've got it down. How do we move into that next phase now? So it's now about planning. So look at what are your options. Could you possibly write the supplementary exams? 
could you maybe find another path into doing what you want to do? Or do you take a year off and rethink the whole thing? Oh, the gap year, <laughs> the, the gap dreaded year. gap year. It can be a very useful thing. How do we reboot when we, when we talk about doing supplementary exams? We've just completely disconnected, and I'll speak from my own experience. I mean, when you go on rage and you kind of, if you've been allowed to go on rage after, after finals, how do we then kind of refocus ourselves and get back into that mindset and do what we weren't able to do? I think before you even decide to write the subs, you need to decide whether you are in the right frame of mind. For a lot of matrix, I think there's that huge motivation because now you've really been focused on going to tertiary, you know what you want to do. So for a lot of matrix writing the subs, they are there. They know how important it is. But if you're not in that frame of mind, I think you need to take a really big rethink about where are you going and what is it that you really want? If it's not motivating you, maybe within yourself you want something else. Maybe helping your child discover what it is that they really want to do, because sometimes our greatest failures can point us in a new direction, as yes. you say. As a parent, how do we broach that conversation without judging, but rather allow them to engage with us and, and maybe shed some light on where they could be or should be, be going? Where do we start that moving from disappointment to, all right, let's assess how do you feel? Where do we begin that conversation? I think it starts with Just listening. Just like this father and son are He's doing. He's very, <laughs> aren't they? <laughs> they got each other. So listen. Let them express their fears, their frustrations. Try and understand what they're feeling. And then let them know whatever their expectations are. Whether they reach it or not, you are there to support them. And help them look for options. Try and constantly remind them that there are still options. There are ways to get to where you want to be. Perhaps not in the way that you thought initially. Yeah, man, and I think just, you know, set the judgment aside and remember what it was like for you. Yes. I think that's a big part of it. Don't let them relive what you went yes. through, but, but rather kind of use that to, to empathize. Any final words of advice for, uh, specifically for our matriculants, I think? Remember, it's not the be-all and the end-all, okay? There's always a way. Don't let anybody or anything stand in your way. If you want something, you can find a way to get there. And for our parents, um, <laughs> uh, and maybe also for our parents also uh, who are approaching the, the new school year as well, um, who, who might be thinking of this whole new life cycle beginning. I think, remember that as much as you try and teach your kids, they sometimes have to learn purely through experience and be there to catch them. Those oh. things that they can't learn by teaching, just do the support thing. Oh, man. Well, we certainly empathize with you on both sides of that coin, whether you are wrapping up your school, whether you are just about to start. We'd always love to hear from you guys. So please um, make a connection with us on social media. Send us lots of pics. Let us know how you are feeling about this brave new chapter in your life.